hi guys welcome to let's talk tv if you are new here please do subscribe and turn on post notifications and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so guys today we're going to be doing a summary of the real housewives of lagos season 2 episode 3 but before we do that we'll just give you a brief run over maybe one one minute each of episode 1 and episode 2 what happened then because there's no summary of those episodes on this channel so in episode 1 we just basically saw um the introduction of Faith Mori and Tanya and when they were introduced into the group we saw it was Choma that introduced Tanya and yeah, um, Laura introduced Faith Mori and then we had the scene that got everybody talking of um, Mary and when, they, when she invited the ladies out and then Faith wore her outfit and that had the tail and yeah but just stepped on the tail. Episode 2 was basically about Toins and Shoma's reconciliation. So Yabo yeah, just sp spoke to the both women and Tony went for Shoma's event, kind of like a charity stroke yard sale event where she apologized to Shoma. So let's move over to episode 3. I'm going to give you guys detailed analysis of whatever happened. So first off, we had Faith meeting up with Dr. Romel. You know Dr. Romel now. Dr. Romel is the character that got introduced in this season and he's just a really, really cute person. Like, everybody finds him cute and entertaining. So we had Faith Mori meeting up with Dr. Romel and it was them meeting up to dance for her party. The party she was um, organizing, um, Botox, her Botox bougie party that she was organizing, which is like the first of its kind. Because even the ladies admitted that they had never attended a Botox party before. So they just met up to be has and oh my god, they are dancing. Actually, his dancing, it was kind of funny and it was just entertaining. And then after they finished dancing, he now talked about how he was getting along with the ladies, right? He said that he liked the other ladies, but with Tanya, he doesn't know yet that when she, when he asked her her name, he didn't get it the first time. And the second time she, he asked her again that she came off a bit rude, not really rude, maybe she was just like he said this is how he put it he said he told that he she told him his name the name he didn't hear it and then he asked her whether the name was titi and she said tanya that was exactly what he said so that's just basically what he had to say about meeting the ladies the next thing we'll go over to yabo and her kids so she met with she came back home and her daughter priscilla was teasing her about how she has not really been coming home that she's been spending time with polo if you know if you follow Iabo, Joe polo is a new i would not necessarily say a new man but it's just somebody they just introduced their relationship to the internet space so it's somebody that she's seen so priscilla was her daughter was just basically um teasing her about how she is now with polo and she hardly goes home and all of that and it was just beautiful to see because from i think we even saw an earlier scene you can just see that they get along well both yabojo and her kids with polo's kids and polo like all of them and it's like their children really love the relationship because her daughter was teasing her saying that if yeah, but doesn't want to get married to the man that the kids that means she and the man's kids they will plan the wedding and then they will invite they can join them at the reception it was just a very nice funny scene to see and then the next thing we saw was laura and chioma and tanya meeting up in one place and then miriam tiana and faith meeting up in the other place so laura and uh, laura and um, chioma invited laura out for a conversation at the restaurant because she said that in the previous episode miriam called them pretenders that she doesn't view herself as a pretender she just thinks that she's going to have a conversation with whoever she wants to have a conversation with late um anytime she wants to have it with them so and this and we just basically saw see them talking about it and they basically did not even talk about their issue they just they were talking about like other things they talked about they talked about um chioma's issue with sienna for one and that was where chioma made a statement that did not quite sit right with me she said that um, she did not believe that Tiana was pregnant. I felt like that was rude. Who are you to say that you don't believe that somebody that says she's pregnant is pregnant? It was just the very... I did not expect that coming from her, considering the way she presents herself as somebody that is emotionally intelligent. Somebody lost the baby. You have no right to say that you don't believe that she's pregnant. Because I remember in season one, 
Tiana told them she was pregnant when they went on that trip that she went to. She said she even thought Laura was the one that was pregnant. Laura thought that she was not pregnant. But I actually think Laura might have been pregnant. But it's not my say. So later, Tanya joined them. And they just basically asked Tanya how she was getting along the ladies and what vice she was getting. And Tanya said that she's... um and that in as much as she's getting along the ladies that she's just she just knows like she likes their vibe but she doesn't really know what's going on with faith because she has not spoken much with faith so she cannot even determine there was even this scene where tanya met with her manager and was telling her manager about how she met up with Choma's friends and they talked about how she was get, collecting straight straight bullets for caroline and she was she said like that she didn't that she didn't know the person, that she did not know why she was collecting straight bullets. And she talked about Laura too with that meeting with her manager. She said that her man, um, she, um, Laura was not who she expected, that Laura is a very calm, chill person, and that's not what she had about Laura at all. So th- let's move on over to the Miriam, Tiana, and Faith scene. It was just like they were happening, like they were showing us this thing, then they were switching to the next, and it was just nice to see conversations coming from both groups of the women. So Mariam and um Mariam and Tiana they were um Mariam invited them out so they were somewhere having and then Faith later joined them. But before Faith joined them, um Mariam was talking to Tiana about basically what happened at the party that Tiana did not attend and then Faith now joined them. And then Faith came with their bodyguard and they just laughed about it, saying Faith. And Tiana was like, this one that Faith is bringing her bodyguard. Maybe they've told her that they, she used to beat people. <laughs> well, I prefer this reaction because I remember in episode 2, when Faith brought her bodyguard, Iabo made a very disgusting comment. She said that Faith should not be coming with the bodyguard. That is even her that is supposed to be coming with the bodyguard because she's an actress and a big star. That who is Faith to be coming with the bodyguard? I prefer... Tiana's reaction because it was more like a playful, jokeful, oh, fate should have not come with the bodyguard kind of thing. And then Faith and Tiana, they had like a lot of stories in common. They got married to get at the age of 19 and then they both got separated from their husbands. And even when they asked her why she separated from her husband, she just said her husband was a nice person. She didn't really say bad things about her husband. She just said her husband was a nice person and all of all of that she didn't say anything bad about her just like her husband was a bad person he changed her life she even said that if anybody met her at the point where her husband met her that they would not call her pretty but her husband really changed her life and he told her how to live just saying good things even when they tried to press she just said he was controlling and that was where she ended it i like the fact that she left her ex and she could still say good things about him because there were times when things were good and then Miriam invited Iyajubo Ojo. Like after the scene, they showed where Miriam invited Iyajubo Ojo to talk about surrogacy and her court with her cousin. I know surrogacy is not really something that Africans would really accept. So I just really like that scene that was throwing more light on it. And her cousin said she tried to have a baby for eight years before she used surrogacy to actually give birth to the child it was just basically that and then they showed where they were playing games and all of that and Miriam is always going to be she's always a great host and then they moved over to tiana's um tiana's scene and then she went to see her doctor and that's just somewhere you realize that a lot of people don't put a lot of things they are going through online because tiana was very sick in fact the doctor said one of her bones in her neck was not i don't know whether they were short or they were not where they were supposed to be and he even gave her a neck piece to wear like a medical neck piece and she still designed it like the next episode we saw she had already designed the neck piece and it was looking very beautiful trust tiana to always bring her fashion sense into anything so the main tea of the entire episode was the botox party so miriam arrived first tanya then then miriam started complaining to tanya that they, nobody welcomed her that they didn't even give her drinks they were so aware bojo laurel chioma tiana all of them they arrived and they were waiting for faith faith did not welcome but they gave them drinks later though now when faith came in right she came in with her mom and that was just her saving grace because all of them just had to maintain and respect themselves and they just greeted her mom and then they now started the party and then dr Rome came in you know him now very cute very bougie very entertaining he came in and he did his dance which like it just cleared off the air the ladies were like okay that they cannot forgive 
faith for whatever waiting because the weight was worth it because of his dancing and all of that so they now went inside and where they started he started doing botox so he used the model and then after then he used laura and all of them were just giving her like side eye and they said they have not done any surgery done well they are the only ones that know if they've had surgery done or not but faith said she could see some treading and some surgeries done you know laura laura is always going to claim her thing with her foot chest laura said she likes to get her body done so she went um she was the next person that stood up she stood up for him to do like the botox injected into her forehead and then the next scene you guys should come here for the next episode because we're going to be dropping the tea as it they hot the next episode the summary of it you know that after the issue it showed yabo ojo and fate fighting in the next episode and yabo ojo was just you know how she's like she's been targeting fate since from stepping on her trail and all of that so yeah bojo was coming at fate and i just like the girl was still you know fate now maintaining queenly behavior she even came for her accent too but we don't really know what happened in that episode until they bring it out and they show it to us and i will be here to give you guys a rundown on the summary so if this is like what you would like to see please do subscribe to the channel because we're bringing all the episodes of real housewives of lagos and summarizing it to you so guys we've come to the end of this video good day and please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up